bluda, 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 bluda. <gasps> Didn't go to those parties. Yeah. I'm just not with all that freaky they won't even give me a permit for the parties, man. Like they're gonna be shutting them down. They're gonna probably be arresting me. So a lot of the celebrity culture that you don't hear saying anything is because they participated to a degree. 50 Cent spoke with the Enthusiast Report as it's confirmed his Diddy Takedown doc has found a home on Netflix. No air date announced yet, but the trolling continues as 50 posted this meme of Diddy oil. Agent sees the baby oil that combs the staff allegedly used to stock hotel rooms for the freak offs more than 1,000 bottles altogether. I mean, he has a big house, he buys in bulk. You know, I think they have Costco's in every place where he has a home. I mean, have you sat in a, in a parking lot of a Costco and see what people walk out of there with? Could that be Diddy's baby oil defense when this goes to trial? Diddy's attorney, Mark Agnifilo, attempted to explain away items seized during the federal raids, but a rep for Costco says, leave us out because they don't even sell baby oil. One bottle of baby oil goes a long way. I don't know what you need, need a thousand for. In a TMZ special streaming now, Mark also says Diddy wants to take the stand to explain the surveillance video assault on ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura. I don't know that I could keep him off the stand. Uh, I, I think he is very eager to tell his story, and I think he will tell every part of his story, including what you see on the video. Now, Other stars speaking out? NSYNC's Lance Bass and Danity Kane's Aubrey O'Day. Of course, Diddy discovered her on Making the Band. Grooming is a process. They don't just abuse you on day one. I was, like, sent out of a studio session one time because my toes weren't polished properly. Diddy open for NSYNC. What do you make of all this stuff? Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of horrible. The very last show, I'll say this, in Orlando, I overheard him talking to Justin Bieber like, you, know, <gasps> you need to go solo, you need to drop these. And I was like, I don't like you anymore, Diddy. 